Got an NFL game to go into. We got Thursday night football, Ross. All right. We, Colts, Broncos, Broncos minus three and a half, over under four, a, a dismal 43 and a half. Guys, don't forget, seven day consensus for it. All you got to do is text 614 810 7522. Talk to me about this Thursday night NFL matchup. Well, let's start with this. Um, Indianapolis, it, yeah, they're off to a one and three start. But remember this under Frank Reich, this is a team that's gone five and oh against the spread in their last five games as an away underdog. And all of those occurred since last year. And not only they went five and oh ATS in those games, they also won four of the five straight up as an underdog. On the other hand, uh, Cincinnati, or excuse me, Denver, since 11-4 of 2018, one and six straight up in ATS is a home favorite of three and a half or less. And additionally, uh, since uh, November 19th, 2017, Denver is 0 and five straight up in ATS as a home favorite of minus three and a half or less when coming off a straight up loss, which they're coming off that loss against Las Vegas last week, 32-23. You know, Lenny, I've been saying this from the beginning. This is an overhyped Denver team. They have been right. from the beginning. Russell Wilson's quickly finding out he doesn't have Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf to throw to anymore. And Indianapolis, in my estimation, is a much better team than their one and three record is showing so far. Uh, this is a, a game I thoroughly believe that Indianapolis will finally get the running game going. And I say that why? Uh, because Jonathan Taylor's coming off an awful game last week against. Uh, Tennessee, and this is a Denver defense that allowed 212 yards on the ground last week in their loss uh, at Las Vegas. Also, Lenny, Denver, 16.5 points per game uh, so far this season, and uh, so much for Russell Wilson, right? And the Indianapolis defense, even though they're one and three, it's not because of their defense. Their defense is allowing folks just uh, 297 yards per game. I'm going to take Indianapolis here uh, plus the three. Wouldn't shock me if they win the game outright. Obviously, at three, you hope that's the case. But uh, I'm not going to get greedy. I'll take the three here on the road at Denver. Yeah, I'm always going to take the points in these kind of matchups. I do, and I, I love the under, too. I, I, can, I can't say that enough. Primetime unders are hitting yeah. like something like 60 three 64 percent or something like that but both of these offenses are still trying to figure themselves out i think indianapolis just needs to remember how much they can run the ball and yeah. let the and let jonathan taylor go and i think this game comes down to who has the ball last and if you're going to give me three and a hook i'm going to take the hook um so good job ross i appreciate you man always a great time on the power hour with you don't forget like subscribe ring the bell for notifications Picks and Parley Power Hours here is Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern. Ross, we'll see you on the next one. Hey, thank you, Lenny. Don't forget, folks, 17-9 and 9 to start the year in the NFL. Check me out. Check them out.